go ahead and click. Okay, is it recording? Yeah, it says recording on mine, so. Okay, cool. And then do you see the, I'm going to share screen and pop this one up because I have to have one PowerPoint to show you. Do you see that? Uh, yeah, can you hear me okay? You just fine. Can you hear uh, me okay? Yeah, and do okay. you see this? Yep. Do you see the questions? Um, no, I can just see the three dishwashers. Okay, that's cool, that's perfect. Okay, so uh, now I shall start. So, hello, Samantha, how you been doing over the past few weeks? It's nice to be able to catch up with you. Hey, Pay, hey, I'm good, how are you? I'm pretty good. Just been kind of laying out work, doing some research for you guys just to see if I could help with anything. Awesome. So um, today I would actually like to bring to you some ideas that you could think about and maybe make a decision on. Uh, I just hope that maybe these three things, I brought you a little layout of just the three different kinds of dishwashers that you could get. Two of them are actually ours. One of them is the one you currently have. And then the one on the far right is just from a competitive company. Uh, okay. So things to look at, some details. Uh, and I'll just run you through some questions and see, see if some of these things fit. Does that sound good to you? Absolutely. Awesome. So has anything ever drove you to look into a new dishwasher for the workplace before? Um, ours has had some consistent leaking issues. We've had it fixed a few times and it still is leaking onto our floor. So that is causing an issue. Okay, so would you make this decision alone or would you need to contact a higher up or anyone in order to make this decision for it? Um, I think for this decision, as long as I did enough research, so I'd be able to make it on my own. It wouldn't need to be something that I would have to contact my higher ups for. Um, after I made the decision, I could let them know, obviously, that we had changed our manufacturer, but I wouldn't have to consult them in making the decision. Yeah. Okay. That sounds great. So what are the uh, guidelines that you're looking into when it comes to buying one? Obviously something that consistently works. Um, if it has an issue, I would need to be able to reach out to the people and have them come and fix it quickly. Um, it would have to be cost efficient. Um, obviously very effective because of COVID. A lot of people aren't using glass, but mm -hmm. other than that, everything that you would expect. Okay, uh, well actually CMA uh, does warranties on each product, so you could actually call the company and make and they will actually come and fix it for you. And also, you can also get parts strictly or directly from our website, which is great. That's uh, awesome. So that's just some help. But uh, what are the needs that the dishwasher has to do? Or is there like, is it just glassware or will there be plates? Will it be coffee? Um, currently, it is going to be glassware for coffee and beer. Eventually it's going to be plates and bowls and everything that you would expect for a kitchen, but immediately we're just going to need coffeeware and glassware for the bar. Mm -hmm. um, obviously we want to get something that can do anything regarding the kitchen as well, because we don't want to have to invest in a new one in a, a few weeks. Um, but our immediate needs obviously are just completely cleaning and sanitizing everything to make it safe for other people to drink or eat out of. Okay. Well, that actually sounds pretty good. Just to stay clean, just like last time when we were talking, staying clean is one of the most strictest things that you could have for the business right now. So for sure. I'm already kind of concluding that this would be a huge impact on the business if you could just keep some of the things more clean and more reliable systems. I feel like that would help. So what do you think the customers expect most, expect the most when they come to your uh, business in terms of service? I think obviously cleanliness is a huge thing, especially in the coronavirus season. Um, I know like in the bar industry or coffee industry, a lot of times like there's still lipstick on a glass that's run through the dishwasher or, you know, people might use a three compartment sink, but we just want to make sure that our customers know that we, if we do use a three compartment sink, it's still going to run through the dishwasher. Everything's going to be not only clean, but sanitized as well. Um, so I just think if the customers worry about if, you know, they're using glass, has it been cleaned properly? Are people being diligent about it? Um, is the machine cleaning or 
you know, work or cleaning. Um, so I think just cleanliness in general is a huge thing, especially for customers. Okay. So going back to the, uh, the issue of maybe not being able to use glassware and such just because of COVID, mm -hmm. um, if they weren't capable of selling things in glassware, how do you think your customers would take that? Um, in my opinion, especially in coffee and craft beer, the, what you serve the product in makes a huge difference. So I was personally advocating for, you know, glass for our beer, ceramics for our coffee. I think it does make a huge difference in the experience that someone has when they initially come in. Um, I would, you know, the average customer, if they just come in and like they want a coffee, I'm sure it wouldn't change their mind as much. But if someone comes in and has been to every coffee shop in Cincinnati or every brewery in Cincinnati and they want to see how our beer or coffee compares, I think putting it in a glass or ceramic container really does change the product. Um, so I think that's a huge thing. Yes, I think it is too, just from a, a, a personal drinker myself, having a glass yeah. poured or even a coffee poured into a mug, it just makes literally the biggest difference in the world when you drink it. Absolutely, yep. Um, so just as you've been looking over this little small uh, picture that I've had on the screen for you, uh, if I could talk and demonstrate into how one of these products might be better fit for your business, uh, do you think you would be interested about talking about some of the options we have? For sure. Okay. Do you have any questions or anything that I can answer for you? I guess what would be your preference? Um, well, for me, the dishwasher on the left, the, uh, the 1665.72, that is actually the one that the restaurant owns exactly right at the moment. So um, the reason I put these three on there right now is actually pretty interesting because uh, the stand-up washer is just about $2,000 more, but it cleans double the amount of uh, racks, which is basically double the amount of dishes per hour in case you're having busy days or something. It keeps the high temp so it can wash everything. It can wash your bowls, your cups, your glasses, your coffee. And uh, it also has a 17 and a half inch clearance for dishes. So if you have like big pots and pans, I feel like it'd work out a lot better than the one you have currently. The only downside to it is that it's a stand up one. So it wouldn't be underneath the counter. I feel, right. like, I feel like it would help with uh, the leakage issue that you have where you would be able to see it directly coming from the system instead of maybe through your floorboards or anything. Yeah. But right. uh, the one on the right, is I like to call that the in between, just because it's a little bit more expensive than the current model that you have right now. Although it's the same size, uh, it's also a tiny bit more energy efficient. Not as much, I believe. The CMAs uh, have 0 0.3 gallons of water used, so uh, it's not too big of a save difference. But you're still saving a little bit of water. And it has a 17 inch clearance for dishes. So you're almost having the same clearance as you do with the stand up. And it's also right. counter. So that could fit you. And it, it's also certified for your glasses and dishes as well as the second stand up one is. So uh, it's just some things to look at. Those are just competitors. And then the two on the left is what I would consider from us. And like I said earlier, the, two, the ones from us always come with a warranty. So we can always come help and give you some feedback on what we can do to help you. And we can also always sell products back to you to help you fix the problem. So, uh, yeah. And that's about all I got. If I can answer any more questions. Oh, no, that's <laughs> awesome. I think you did address everything that any of our issues that we would have. Um, all of the differences in the machines are super awesome. Just like addressing everything versus our machine is really important. Um, you did a great job. Thank you. So, um, after answering all these questions for you and after kind of telling you a little bit about all three, uh, I hope you've kind of at least got something in your mind to make a decision. Uh, is it okay if maybe I come back and contact you within about a week to two weeks and we can see how this thing can go for you? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Thank you, Samantha, for your time. No problem. Thanks, you have Pete. a great night. I appreciate you. You as well. Good night. See ya.